Hello everyone, it is me Sexuma from the Dribble Studios channel. Welcome back to another video on the how to make a 2D survival game on Scratch. So, last episode we made the hunger bar work. Uh, we also made the death screen and the coconut pickable. Pick. Pick upable. That's not a word. You can now pick up the coconut and eat it. And it will get rid of it from your inventory, which is what we want. So. <gasps> what we want now is to make the part where we can go underwater. And swim underwater. So. What we're going to do is click on the flag. Wait. Audio. Okay. And stop playing the game. You know, we've got 100 bars there. So, let's pick up both of that. Um, down the inventory, as you can see, it's there. Click on this, nothing happens. Click on this, hunger goes back up. Now it changes it again. So, there's a bit of a problem. Oh, we will fix that. I actually, I'll challenge you to try fix that. If, you, if any of you can fix that, congrats, um, but I'll fix it in another episode. So what we want to do is go to the cat sprite, the one that we haven't been in a long time, and when A pressed, you want to duplicate this. And then let's have it space. And then now we're going to go to looks, and we're going to go switch backdrop. To no big game. and then we're gonna go to backdrops. Backdrop tab actually pause it. Uh, and we're gonna click new tab. We're gonna click choose a backdrop. Choose a backdrop again. And then we need to find the ocean one. You can draw your own ocean one. That's completely up to you. I'm gonna use. Underwater one for game screen two three sorry and there it is and we go over to cat and switch it to game screen three So, what we do now is go when space pressed, hide, and then let's make it load. It's going to control drag the weight one second, and then duplicate that. There we go. Let's stop that. And then switch this to game screen one. Let's go to operators and drag the pick random. So you guys should know how we do this around here. Make it look like an actual loading screen. So, okay. Let's keep playing. And yeah. So now we want to copy this. Do this. And hide. And we want to do this. Just do the same with pretty much every single thing. Screen three. Spell game one screen. Spell game one. Coconut. Duplicate this. Hide. Game screen three. Uh, 
want to save it right now. Okay, so once we do that, everything should hide. So if we do this, it will send us into loading. We also need to do the true. When loading, hide. There we go, so this now. I repeat, my inventory doesn't work. We need to go over to Kingsman 2. Okay, yeah, I broke it, but that is fine. So, the next thing that we want to do is make a. We want to duplicate the cat sprite. We call it cat under. Water. Do that. And when you have the cat and the water, make sure you delete all of the sprites. And you want to choose a costume and find the cat flying. Cat, cat flying A. That's what we want. And then we want to actually change the mouth. Showing, holding his breath. Alright, there we go. Now we can delete this one. Cut, cat. And we can rename this cat. Swimming. You can add an animation to it if you like, but I'm not going to. So now we have cat under water. And then we want to change the hide button in there. And I just put that there. In game screen two, hide. And we want game screen three, hide. And we want game screen two to hide. Game screen three to show. Oh, that's good. And then when backdrop switches to game screen three, show. Which we don't need that because it's there. There, sorry. All right, now we're going to do the same thing with that we did for the cat. So we're going to duplicate this, and we're going to flip horizontally. I'm going to call that cat swimming L, cat swimming R. No hashtag. So cat swimming left. Swimming right. There we go. And it will move now, which is good. That's what we want. And we also kind of want him to be able to move up and down. So we're going to duplicate these. So A, so we want W for up. Rid of both of these and go to motion. And as you can see here, we want it to change Y by, and this is 10 steps, so we don't want that. Change Y by minus. So this 2, and this will be minus 2. And then we want it to go to zero, zero. There we go. So now let's test this. Uh, let's save it. And let's play, play. And all of this should now work. So actually, we can get rid of that because that's already in the cat. 
However, we do not have a reason. Okay, so he is hiding. That is fine. So if we go underwater. Uh -huh, that works. However, we go diagonally when we click D. So it didn't change it. Uh, so it would be S. We need to find S. There we go. Yep, there we go. That works. Uh, I think we need to increase it because we go way quicker left and right. Don't go like that. So that's kind of what we want. However, let's increase this to minus. Four. Yeah, so just increase that to four. There we go. So that would usually now work. However, we need to fix all the bugs. So let's do this when loading hide uh, through the theme of this. And keep screen loading hide, and then when this loading. So, could actually do this in when backdrop switches to game screen 3, game screen 2 rather. Because every time that we do that, it's now going to appear randomly. And then if we want the rocks to appear at the bottom of the C, we can do that. So... It's, it's all good. So now we need to make it a rise button. So let's shrink it so we can move it easily. Bye bye. So let's duplicate this and let's move it into. Oh, excuse me. Now, there's, now it's inside of this guy. It didn't sound right. When. I don't know, let's do. Up arrow pressed. We want it to hide, switch back to loading, switch back to, to game screen too. So now, now pretty much all of this should work. So now we want in for coconut, and I think we're actually going to try fix this. So if we do if, let's do a massive if loop. Do this if coconuts equals if coconuts greater than zero. There we go, and that should fix the problem with the uh, coconuts not working. So that if you can infinitely just click them. And then we want to kind of just duplicate this, not all of it, please. Let's just get that one. And then we want to put this at the top. And then we want to kind of put this at the bottom there. That would make the most sense. And then we want if coconuts equals zero then you now we want to broadcast error message thanks for both of those correct oh, I don't think so actually message might be wrong Oh well, I can't spell. So, and let's type the message, it can be whatever you want. Uh, as long as it's telling them that you, they can't do it. So you want, nope. Won't do that. Sorry. Now we don't want that. 
Come on. Error. I think I spelled error. No, we're not gonna just, it's just something simple, like no, can't do that. Nope. Can't do that. Right in the middle, a bit bigger, just make it a bit smaller. There we go, and now we want it to be zero, zero. There we go. And then we just want, we want it to hide whenever, and then when I receive error message, show, wait, three seconds, it's a bit long, wait, wait two seconds, and hide. Yeah, that's good. So now I save it, and that is the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please do leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.